Hey everyone, welcome back to Book Miss Day 2. Today we're going to be talking about my December TBR. I'm super excited. I have a lot of books on my TBR, so I'm just going to hop into this video and talk about all the holiday s books I hope to finish by the end of the year. I'm actually not going to start with the holiday book because this is a book I've been reading for so long and my goal is to finish it by the end of 2024 and it is called The Meaning of Marriage by Timothy Keller. Um, I don't even know how far I'm into it. I honestly might restart it just to give my brain like a fresh restart and knowing what this book is about but I am getting married in May of next year and so I think this is going to be in an informational book London is also reading it and so our goal is to finish it by the end of the, this year so wish me luck this is like probably my number one book on my TBR that I want to finish and then all the rest are like just fun and cutesy little books that I'll honestly probably read them before I read this which is not good but maybe this will be like my after like after my morning workout book we'll see anyway now that that one's over let's get into the fun holiday books I have four physically and then I have four novellas I want to talk about and then I think I have like one extra book and then that'll be the end of the video currently reading the matzo ball by Jean Meltzer this one is a Hanukkah romance it's about a woman who is Jewish but she's obsessed with Christmas she writes Christmas novels but one day her literary agency asks her to write a Hanukkah romance and so that means she has to team up with her like 12th or not 12th grade like 7th grade 12 her 12 year old arch nemesis and I think his name's Jacob Jacob Greenberg and so they were each other's first kiss I'm pretty sure but it ended badly and she needs to keep her contract so I'm assuming he's going to be showing her the amazement and beauty in Hanukkah that's my assumption I'm pretty excited to read this because I feel like I don't really know all that much about Hanukkah and I'm sure this book will inform me a little bit and it honestly has pretty good reviews on Goodreads. So if you're looking to diversify your holiday romances or holiday reads this year or next year, I would recommend this so far. He's saying it's a holiday. I would say it's a holiday romance because I'm pretty sure it's set during Hanukkah. So the, she also does have a chronic illness, which I think that representation is really awesome. Yeah, I think this is a really cool story. I mean, it says that she had to drop out of school because of her own chronic illness and her father told her she should write a book but not a Jewish one because no one reads those and here she is and it's sold it's there this is I think she has like four or five books since this one came out so so far out of the 15 percent that I'm through this I really like it it's still a point of view which is always a plus so I think you guys should pick this one up. The next one has been on my Christmas TBR since last December. It's called A December to Remember by Jenny Bayless. I felt like I couldn't read this any other time but December. So I have to read it this month because I got it last year and I didn't get around to it just with the craziness of the end of the year and also reading other books. So this is one where I'm like, I absolutely need to read this. I don't think it's a romance really. I think it's more of three half sisters coming together after the passing of their father and kind of reuniting and I think it's I think it'd be really interesting to read I have two sisters I also have a brother but in regards to this book I have two sisters and I think it'll be really awesome to see um three sisters like just forming relationships with each other because um like I I love my sister so much and I want to be best friends with them as we grow into our adulthood so I'm really excited about this I also think the cover is just stunning I've read a few books by Ginny Bayless I've read 12 dates of Christmas and meet me under the mistletoe they're both on the, the cover here the book I haven't read by her is a season for second chances which honestly if I like this one I think of I like a three star for all of them that's my general rating for a Christmas or holiday related um, novel because they're feel good but they're not like anything too crazy so if I like this one maybe I'll pick that one up for next year but anyway that's the next one my all-time favorite holiday romance I will always recommend her books I have Emily Stone's new release this is called Winter Wish I love her books because they go beyond just talking about the holidays there's always like a very deep subject. I'm going to say something that's a spoiler so skip ahead. It's related to always in December. Skip ahead. Do it now. 
it is a maybe for you trope if that tells you anything about her depth of novels um okay we're not spoiling anymore um she just has a level of depth and emotion to her novels um grief that she usually talks about around the holidays which i think is really really interesting because i feel like that's not as common for christmas romances and like time and place for everything because sometimes you just want to read like a cutesy little i'm in christmas mode romance but if you want some emotional depth you're gonna pick up emily stone i don't really know what this one's about oh wait so this one is about the main character lexi who learns of her father's death and i am pretty sure they're yeah they're estranged and she's confused because he left her half of his business and the other half to his business partner which she and him don't get along but they kind of have to um they kind of have to get together to decide the fate of the company and so i think it's really interesting it's going to be a romance. There's always some romance in them, but I am assuming she's going to be talking about her issues with her father. So I'm really intrigued to read this. I love having these books. They're so fun for me. And yeah, pretty excited for this one. The last Christmas book I have physically is The Christmas Swap by Talia Samuel. I hope that's her name. It has a sticker on it. I hate these stickers, but love the deal even though I didn't get the deal. They did not give me the deal on this one, which kind of sucks. I can't get it off. Ta Talia Sump Samuels. I have seen this at Barnes & Noble two times before I finally picked it up, and both, all three visits, I picked it up, and I was like, should I get this book? And then I was like, no, I have too many. And I was like, no, I'm getting other ones. And then for the third one, I was finally like, I keep on being drawn to this. I'm going to pick it up. My understanding of the back is Margot, um, is dating Ben Gibson and that's because he needs someone to like present at the holidays and she needs needs a break because her girlfriend and her just broke up so they go away and when Margot goes she meets Ben's sister Ellie who obviously they have a romance so I'm assuming that's where the swap comes in is because she swaps siblings even though her and Ben don't have like any romantic relationship but I'm pretty excited about this it is their English which I'm obsessed with books that are English I just love it I love it so much I feel like part of my heart is in London and so every time I read a book that has like Englishness to it I'm immediately like yes Let's get into the Christmas novellas I want to read because Amazon or Kindle Unlimited is having like this cool little deal that they're doing where they released five novellas. I read one of them in November and my plan is to read the four other ones this month because guys they're like 50 to 70 pages so if you need things to mark off your Goodreads goal read these five books. They are called Merry Ever After by Tessa Bailey. I also don't know what these books are about so I'm just gonna put the image and not really talk about it. But yeah, Merry Ever After with Tessa Bailey and then we have All By My Elf by Olivia Dade. And then we have Merriment and Mayhem by Alex Alexandria Belfleur. Okay. Then we have Only Santa's in the Building by Alexis Daria. And that's the last one. So I'm planning on reading all of these. They're really quick. I would recommend them all on Kindle Unlimited, Amazon original like deal that they're doing. But those are all the Christmas books. And I want to add one other book to my TBR because I wanted to pick this up so bad this month. But I restrained myself because I was like, I want to get rid of my TBR. Like, I want to do this. And that is The Wall of Winnipeg and Me by Mariana Sabata. I read my first Mariana Sabata book in October, which was All Roads Lead Here. Five stars. That was one of the best books I've ever read. read? I almost said written. I have not written a book. Sorry, guys. Um, and this is the second book that has a recovered issue, I'm pretty sure. And that's why I want to read it. Um, I'm thinking any time that one of her books comes out recovered, I'll read it. I've heard Wait For It is really good, but again, I want to wait for the new cover because I like the cover. But anyway, enough of that. This book is, a, I believe, about a girl who is the assistant to this football player, but she quits because she doesn't like the work environments. Like it, it wasn't what she wanted to really do, um, but he begs for her back. And that's what it is I guess I'm pretty intrigued I think they look really cute and she has blue hair which I think is kind of fun 
but anyway I just yeah I loved all roads lead here so I'm hoping this gives me the same vibes and feelings because I need that I need I need roads I need Tobias Rhodes. So hopefully Aiden Graves will also be a standout and he'll be every man a girl wants. But yeah. My December TBR, I'm hoping I'll finish it. We'll see if December is as successful as November was. I think as long as I finish my like holiday romances, I'll feel pretty good. Oh, and this book, which I think I can do. I think I can do it. Just wish me luck. <laughs> um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you guys are reading any of these books or if I should add any last minute books on my TBR. Um, and I'm pretty excited to um, just keep on doing book miss. I am pretty excited. I can't believe it's day two. Like really it's only day two, but in 10 days it'll be done, which that's crazy. That's how math works. Thanks so much for watching. Merry Swift Miss, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Peace and love. Bye guys.